everybody, my name's B.R. McDonald, and I'm here with Justin Melnick, police officer and actor on the show SEAL Team. We're also here with Pepper. Justin, can you tell us a little bit about what we have right here? Yeah, so today we're running the Ghost K9 camera on Pepper. It takes the MPU-5 and all the capabilities that our team is running on the show and what special operations units are using now and what I believe law enforcement will be transitioning to. Creating a mesh network between my dog, the team, transmitting video feed, both normal video and thermal video, uh, straight to our RDCs. So not only do I have the ability to see what my dog is seeing, but everyone on my team has the ability to see what my dog is seeing. Sure. So you've seen a lot of this stuff. You've been a dog handler for a long time. Probably a lot of systems out there. What is it about the Ghost K9 camera that's unique? So a couple things that I really love about the Ghost K9 camera are the fact that A, it creates a mesh point, like I said, <laughs> and it creates even farther range for my entire team. I like the fact that it integrates with the RDC and allows my team to see what the dog is seeing, but the cameras on it are phenomenal. So the thermal on it, the stabilization, and the visibility is unlike anything I've seen on any other dog camera. And then the visible camera, I mean, even at nighttime, it looks like dusk. Pitch black looks like dusk. It is mind blowing. What's really cool about it too is you have a white light feature on it, an IR light feature, and an IR strobe that you can all remotely activate through your RDC. It's a little bit of a heavier unit, but I think that actually helps with the stabilization on the dog's back. I haven't seen any performance compromise with her. She's still able to do all the same agility stuff that she's doing. It's not interfering with her apprehension work. And the range is insane. I mean, I was on a ship the other day and she was probably a hundred yards into the ship. Mm -hmm. And I was still getting crystal clear feet. Yeah. It was incredible. And one thing, when you sent that video to me, um, you were looking at your RDC, the you know, rugged display and controller, but you were looking at ATAC. So that's something that a lot of, you know, military units, special operations folks are using now. Can you talk a little bit about how that situational awareness tool is used in your world, on the show, and that type of thing? For sure. So. ATAC is the future, and it allows your entire team to communicate, know where each other are positioned, uh, have obje uh, objectives programmed in, you can have text chat, all that stuff. So being able to integrate the dog camera into that is just the next generation, it just makes sense. You're basically giving real-time information to everyone on your team. The fact that the RDC runs the ATAC, it's really cool because each RDC has its own camera in it, so not only can I see what the dog is seeing, I can see what guys in other rooms are seeing. There's so much you can do and every advantage you can take, whether it be in law enforcement and a special operations unit, conventional military units, or on a TV show, is, yeah. is really cool. Absolutely. Being able to incorporate the tech into it. Yeah. Well, what's interesting about this, with the MPU-5 and with Wave Relay, this camera really is just another sensor on the network, right? So whether it's a, a drone flying or a robot moving around the, the ground or a camera, uh, now Pepper you know, can, you know, can be carrying the camera and that video can be disseminated back to you. Oh, 100%. Imagine, uh, imagine as a local SWAT team, if your air support unit has a FLIR on it and is rocking it, MPU-5, you could be rolling to target on a Bearcat, watching your feed on your RDC, and getting real-time information of what's happening on target before you even get there. That's right. Once you get there, if you need to send the dog, not only are you able to see it, but your team is able to see it, your command structure is able to see it. Everyone has real-time intelligence, and intelligence is what keeps people alive. Absolutely. Do you have any comments about the RDC? <laughs> you love it, don't you? All right, well, let's see what Pepper can do. <laughs> 